Just wanted to give a quick shout out to the patrons of the Florida Maquis on Patreon. A great discussion that is not slaved to advertiser whims that doesn't fear for censorship. We can speak openly and frankly and honestly about the things that are facing Americans day to day. We have currently 10 people that have stepped up and gotten their uh, secret level clearance. We have two that have a top secret level clearance. Six people have decided to get their clearance level upgraded to the need to know special access division. One person has actually decided to join us at the round table, the nights of the round table, so to speak, of the 24 slots available. We have one that has actually sat down and ready to begin the discussion. And two have gone to the level of Maki Master, where we are now creating psychological operations that we are going to put into effect. We have an election cycle coming up. If you want to be part of this, um, we would love to have you. There are videos available for as low as a dollar and all the way up to 50. So anyway, just wanted to give a shout out to those people. They are making it happen. And it's also giving the Florida Maquis the ability to take some of the financing and support other channels that have been demonetized on YouTube that have come here. Now, I would love to tell you who those channels are. However, the last time I mentioned these channels by name, they got death threats. But suffice to say that they are big channels. They are channels that have been fighting this war with censorship. And I thought since the Lord has blessed me with a wonderful audience, an audience that is willing to step up and support, that I should take that and seed money this into those voices so that they can continue to speak. And trust me, if I named them, you would know them. They are big. So, with that having been said, as promised, um, I want to speak about something I referenced in the last video. As a result of some polling that I had done, I made the statement that most people in my audience that would probably call themselves conservatives would more than likely be labeled as leftists in South America. And I want to explain to you why that is. There is a very big difference between the conservatives in South America and the conservatives in North America. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are classic conservatives down there, and they much more mimic what would have been called conservatism in this country, 1700, 1800, even through the early part of this century. To back that up, let me read from you from this article from Columbia Reports. The reason this is important for your life is that the things that we say online, the things that we put out, they go around the globe. They go around the world. And the North American version of conservatism is very unique. It does not line up with classic conservatism around the world. And I think this video, I hope this video, will give you an insight as to why people might look at you in such a negative light. Because there's things they believe about you that are not necessarily true, but are true of classic conservatism. The party can be understood through its most enduring values. Its most controversial core principle is an unwavering fidelity to the Catholic Church. This also converts into belief in tradition, the family as the foundation of society, and the opposition to a separation of church and state. You see, classic conservatives in America would say, okay, yeah, I'm traditional, I believe in uh, family being the foundation of society, but I don't believe that my pastor should have the power of my sheriff. You see, that's where they would say, okay, well, that's kind of leftist. From its creation in 1849, the conservatives have opposed dictatorship, well, that's good, communism and all communist principles, we'll cover that in a minute. The party has built its foundation on free trade, private property, and legal liability. Now, all those things sound great and wonderful, right? Well, what they call communism and communist principles can be found right here. And I'll be like, wait a minute, how, this isn't communist, but according to these people, it is. Any statement that talks about the rights of, quote-unquote, the people over the power of government 
is seen as leftist. Your right to free speech, your right to petition, your right to free press, assembly, the right to not be Catholic, the freedom of religion, the right to a gun, the uh, Fourth Amendment, uh, no unreasonable searches, right to due process, all these rights given to the people, these are leftist principles in South America and in classic um, antiquity. It's We call it antiquity, but it's how they currently believe. It's the argument between their left and right down there. See, their left down there has no problem with guns. Their right down there has no problem with guns. In fact, their left is probably as good or better with the use of weapons and military organization as the right is. It's a hard thing to explain, but let me continue. Before forming their political parties, wars had already erupted between supporters of the conservative Simon Bolivar and the liberal General Francisco de Paula Santander in 1839. Violence continued until 1885 when the conservative party took long-term control. The current Republic of Colombia was founded and a new conservative constitution was put in place. Opposing the ideas of the Enlightenment, the Catholic Church was put in charge of the country's education system. Sorry, I should have turned that. I apologize. Let me get that so you can read that. See, believe it or not, the conservatives would have been very much for the idea of flat earth. Because they were against science. They were against the idea of someone challenging the authority of the Pope. And trust me, when they see this, when they see this and you say, I'm a conservative and I support a wealthy landowner Jesuit oligarch, billionaire from Manhattan, that's all they need to see. That's all they need to hear to know that what you be, that they're going to automatically think that you believe the, the Pope should be the most powerful and influential person in your life. I know that's not the case, but that's what they see. That's what they believe when they hear conservative, when they hear right wing. This is what they believe. And all I'm trying to do here is I'm not trying to denigrate or cast aspersion, I'm trying to just illuminate the idea that their versions of leftism and right conservatism are not the classic ones that you believe here. Their Bill of Rights, or excuse me, our Bill of Rights down there would be seen as leftist principles. The idea of all this power to the people stuff. <clears throat> Let's continue. The conservative hegemony. Also, big banks. During this period, Colum Columbia lived relative low levels of political violence, and conservatives can claim credit for constructing a nationwide rail, rail system. Kind of guy, like guys Henry Flagler, for example, from Florida, for those of you who understand the South and who he is. With the help of American economist Edwin Walter Kammerer, the conservative government of 1928, also created the country's central bank that regulated the national economy and still honor, operates today. Election tampering. Let's see. In 1886, less than 70 years after its independence, the Conservative Party approved Colombia's 15th Constitution in which Catholicism became the state religion and the church is put in charge, sorry about this, of the country's public education. This is what is associated with conservatism in South America. While I know you read through here and you see some things, you're like, yeah, I agree with that, I agree with that, but oh, no, 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 wait, I don't agree with that. They don't make those distinctions. And strangely enough, even the, the colors are switched. See, up here, the red is associated with the, the right, conservative, and the left is blue, but it's the opposite down there. Down there, the right is blue and the left is red. But these quote-unquote leftists would very much agree with the U.S. Bill of Rights. And those on the right would not. So, but they would also be more pro-business than these people were. And this is why, to give you an example, um, in Venezuela, there was a Kellogg cereal factory that Kellogg decided was no longer profitable. The only reason to operate the factory was to make money. And if it couldn't make money, if it couldn't turn a profit, they weren't going to operate it regardless of whether there's people around there that needed food or not. 
So the government expropriated it, gave it to the people, told them to open it up, and whether it would operate at a profit or not, they were going to operate it so that the people could at least cover costs and be fed. Simple as that. And that's the same basic thing that happened with the oil industry down there as well. Why ConocoPhillips, Chevron, and all these country, countries, these businesses, are uh, having a problem. They're trying to twist the narrative. So, anyway, ten and a half minutes. I didn't want to waste a whole lot of your time today, but I did want to get this out here to show you that, for example, and I'll leave with this. Let's see if I can find it. All right, when I did these polls, okay, these two questions here, oh, from a week ago, talk about the U.S. and oil. 67% of you said, yes, U.S. oil belongs to U.S. citizens only, America first. In this question, 88% of you said, yes, U.S. energy independence is a matter of national security, meaning that in times of need, if things were an emergency, you would be for the U.S. taking control of the U.S. oil industry. And that would be seen as ultimately incredibly leftist and liberal. So you would be more in the camp of Mr. Maduro than you think. So, anyway, I will leave it there. Um, got something caught in my throat. I gotta go get something to drink. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and once again, thank you to everyone on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. Um, but like I said, don't feel like it's something where it's necessary. There will always be videos here on YouTube. So we will see you later. Thank you so much. Take care.